Hello and welcome back to Gnome Regards Journey. Um, so I figured out why uh, I could not get this thing to spawn in the la the previous episodes. Uh, I am guessing I killed her at some point in time, uh, and then you can't respawn her if you don't have the the the, the certain thing in the quest. So. Yeah, <laughs> I had to uh, cancel the quest uh, and re-get it, and we're going to have to redo it. So let's go ahead and delete these ones since we auto-looted these. And there we go. Yeah, so that's that was this <laughs> that was the problem with that. Uh, I've also, I spent probably two, maybe three hours up here at Fear Fang trying to get him to spawn to get the uh, interrogation information, but uh, that didn't that didn't pan out. Uh, and then I was able to get the enemy, my enemy, my friend uh, from, I think his name is, what is his name up here? Uh, I don't even see him, Jun, Junwin, uh, yeah. So he's, I got his quest. Let's go do his real quick. Um, and I had to say challenge to him uh, because he does not respond to uh, any kind of <laughs> communication with him. So, yeah, I and I, I was just going down there to check that out to make sure I was right in my assumption. So, yeah, I have to go find all those corpses again and uh, collect the items from all of those. I'm guessing I just probably in one of the videos I declined it because I was like, oh, this is a quest item I don't need. Or something like that and uh, yeah and you cannot respawn it so that is the unfortunateness but uh, this is an easy one we just need three insignias uh, then we need to go put the three insignias on sleeping orcs and conveniently we're gonna go find sleeping orcs because there is at least one or two to spawn where uh, fear fang spawns so let's go ahead and grab three of these and we'll uh, be on our way See if we can pull all these in. There we go. That's two. And three. Let's see if there's any named ones up real quick. Yeah, we have three. Leave the rest. I didn't see the name that spawns right there, so let's bother bogger out. Alright, leave that one. Alright, so. We need to plant these insignias on sleeping orcs. Those are all found at the different orc camps. There's uh, one camp here, uh, another camp somewhere over here. There's a camp here, and I believe there's another one. No, those are werewolves over there. But I think that is the three we'll need. So I'm going to run up here to... <laughs> Well, that was interesting. I'm going to run over there to Fear Fang, and then uh, we'll take it from there. All right, we found our first uh, sleeping orc right here. Going to go ahead and uh, hand him an insignia. No, we don't want to drop it on the ground. There we go. Sleeping orc, give it to him. There we go. One down, two more to go. And that was the Blood Moon Warlock marker on the goods map. Uh, we're going to kind of go up here. I guess there's another camp here and then another camp over there. So if we're lucky, Fear Fang will be up. Uh, but I am not feeling lucky today. So <laughs> let's just see what how this works. Um, nope, I don't. I don't see him. He, I think he has a different model uh, than all these other ones. So we're just going to clear this camp. And there's the sleeping one over there. So we'll grab our insignia. And drop it on this guy right here. There we go. Take that and we'll leave that junk. Alright. Um, let's go check over here. So what I do, since I'm clearing all these, I clear these all all these ones out here on the sides too. I don't know if they matter uh, for 
Like, I think he spawns in, like, a specific location in that camp, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, so I like to just clear them all. Uh, it doesn't take any time at all at level 115. Or I mean, level 110. We're not 115 yet. Uh, we're on that at the end of the episode. All right. There we go. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm thinking about inter interweaving the the current level. Uh, well, TOV is the current level for us uh, since we're 110 current level stuff with the hero's journey stuff so that we can uh, progress our character uh, a little bit more because I'm I'm honestly it's kind of boring to kill this old stuff over and over again uh, I mean it's easy and it's quick it's not like we're spending a lot of time killing all these things but I read I would rather be killing uh, in uh, like Eastern waste or something and doing the mercenary quests. So, ah, uh, come on. Where's the angle? Cancel. Have a pet just like inside the his hit box there. It's kind of annoying. There we go. All right, we are done with his quest. We can report back to him. So. While we're here, uh, we need to go over to the festival grounds. I believe there is one, two, or uh, elves over here. And I think another one over here. So let's go check over that really quick. I'll cut it all out to save time. Okay, we're back at the festival grounds. Uh, the first remains should be slightly over here. Uh, right here. Let's think this one. Is one of them anyway? Can't remember. It's not. We'll keep looking. <laughs> I think that's for a different quest. Come on, die. Yeah, this is for a different quest. Never mind. Uh, I'm gonna take one just in case because I don't remember. Where is the other one? It says it's over here. There should be a body. Because we have to walk over the body. Nope, there's that one. These are for the uh, art guy's quest, I believe. My pet keeps bugging out where he doesn't defend me for some reason. Alright, let's go over here. There's. It looks like there's one right there. Yeah, maybe two of them. So let's go do that. Like, I don't know why the pet does that, where he just, like, stops, uh, stops defending me. I have G-hold off, and he just, like, literally just stands there. Happens a lot. I have to, like, back him off before he'll, uh, do anything. Which is <laughs> kind of hilarious, but, uh, whatever. Alright, here is the another elf body. Walk over this one. This is... This is the first elf I believe all right we'll take the clock leave everything else that's a compass actually so the third one I don't think it's that one um there's one right there so that is where is that Valerie Windwalker yeah these mountains aren't in aren't passable so all right, I'm going to run around, I guess, because that is the only route. So we're going to go this way and go over there. All right, the elf's body should be right around here. There it is. There's the spirit. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure that's what happened when we uh, encountered the uh, that one. It We just had a... Uh, didn't loot it or something happened and we didn't kill it <laughs> I have no idea uh, but uh, the quest got into some inconsistent state and I guess you can only spawn them when you have that specific quest uh, quest uh, marker uh, we don't want to go up there 
And my pet is buffed at the moment with uh, lots of buffs. But he also has uh, level 115 mage pet weapons. So he is procking for uh, an insane amount of damage. Where is... Uh, he's got 5k damage shield spells. Here we go. Uh, wind gust to 9,000. Uh, and it, he also has some weird spell I've never seen before. Uh, that was hitting for 19,000. So he is, uh, he's doing well. <laughs> we'll say that. Uh, all right. I think this is the body we want right here. There we go. Spirit of t Talwin. And there we go. Take his sword, leave all the rest. All right, return all of those items to the guy in the camp and talk to him. Perfect. Um, I'm going to go check on Fearfing first. So I'm going to run up there and then we'll uh, go from that. All right, we're back at camp. Uh, Fearfing did not spawn. So we're going to go ahead and turn in the four items to our friend here. For the Lost Elves quest. There we go. We get the left um, Mandibur, <laughs> whatever, Mandibar, uh, for the multi uh, item thing. And we also completed the Heirlooms and Loved Ones achievement. Uh, 75 plus. So let's go ahead and uh, just move this stuff over here. And put that right there so we know where it's at later on. All right. Uh, we completed this guy's quest with the goblins and the insignias. And that gives us the assistant to the Fangbreakers, 76 to 83. Uh, we get two rings for that. Uh, and we also get a handful of werewolf fangs from completing that quest. Um, I'm out of room. Let's move that like that. That's that. That's two of those done. And let's see, and I, don't, I think we already did. I think this was a repeat quest I had done. There we go. More faction and reward. All right. Uh, so <laughs> I don't want to end the episode here because there's one quest left, uh, one quest line left, and it involves Fear Fang and going through. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven kill quests for orcs uh, depended on that. So I'd like to actually let's just end it there. And the next episode will be when he spawns because <laughs> it's going to take me a while to get him to spawn. Uh, and I think with that, we have everything done in the zone. Uh, it's hero's journey progression, right? complete so this is for mechanox and then we go into that this is a steps quest we missed uh and that one we missed so here this is the quest that i was talking about uh that we still need to do it involves going and finding fear fang and then we'll go into fort mechanox uh, mechanauts and there's a few quests in there and then we need that purified one to get the complete meta for the entire zone. And yeah, um, but yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, what I'm gonna do? Go ahead and end this one here because uh, I, I it's like tw 15, 20 minutes between spawns anyway, and uh, I don't want to just leave it recording <laughs> that whole time then have nothing uh, spawn. So what we'll do? Um, I'm gonna camp him until he spawns. And then uh, I'll continue the Purified Flawless Face Sight quest line, uh, achievement line for that in the next episode. And then we'll be done with uh, Loping Plains. And then my plans are either start Fortress Mechanox, Mechanauts, uh, or go to Eastern Waste and start doing TOV progression. Uh, for a zone, so we would do the TOV uh, zone Eastern Waste. Uh, there's 
three mercenary quests, three um, partisan quests, and then there is a trade skill earring quest we can start. Um, and we do have the, the skill to start that. Uh, which then those lead into Crystal Caverns, uh, Rigor Mines, Great Divide, and the rest of that expansion. Uh, and then we would need to find a group to do the Gricklor uh, group mission, because we cannot solo that. At least not at this point. <laughs> so, uh, that's one of those. Uh, so, the next episode will be that purified uh, flawless face site quest uh, quest line, which is quite a few qu quite a few quests. Uh, I think it's like six or seven more, and then I'll either go to fortress or to eastern waste. But uh, thank you for watching and have a great day.